Hey everybody, this is Dave from Growing Home Garden. Today I'm over here, I'm setting up a little bit of an experiment. Uh, see, not too long ago, a video on squash and flowers, uh, particularly the male type or the female type of flowers, went pretty crazy on my YouTube channel. Uh, 41,000 views in a month was crazy for me. I know for other blogs and stuff like that, it's not. But the question was, you know, what actually causes the male flowers to form and not enough female flowers to form. And one commenter mentioned that it was probably too much nitrogen in the soil. So I thought today I'd do a little bit of experiment. I took two pots and put the exact same soil type in them. They're exactly the same, same size pots. I'll move that out of the way so you can see them. These are self-watering pots, just some things I had laying around. And I filled them up with an equal level of soil. The same type of soil out of the exact same bag of soil. Uh, which came from this bag right here. Harvest organic soil, potting soil. So I've used this several times. I really like it, how it works. It's easy. I would mix my own sometimes, but you know, for this, it's real good to have something consistent and the same. And I'm taking just a regular yellow straight neck squash from Baker Creek, and I'm going to plant some of those seeds in each pot. And we're going to see, because one of the pots I'm going to take half a cup of blood meal, which I've got kind of pre-measured over here. It's like I'm doing a cooking show or something. But, and I'm going to mix this into the top layer of the soil of this pot over here. And from there, we're going to see if that is enough nitrogen to create a whole lot of blossoms, or is it just going to create a lot of foliage? And we'll watch it. Uh, these seeds, the yellow squash seeds, are going to take about 45 days to maturity. So we should still have time, because we are in the middle of August right now, uh, we should be able to get something by the beginning of October here in Tennessee, and we'll see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some gloves on because I'm mixing by hand with the blood meal into this pot right over here. I'm just going to sprinkle it in on top, and then I'm going to kind of mix it in real good. Playing the dirt. That's what's fun about gardening, isn't it? All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pack it down. And in each one of these, I'm going to put three seats right on top. And uh, so that you guys can see here, there's the seeds that are going in. I actually pulled out seven seeds, but I'll do three in each one, kind of like I'd be mounting it in the garden cover that all up, we'll water, and then we'll see which one goes faster, which one has the most blooms, the right kind of blooms, and see if that nitrogen was even in effect. Okay, so there's three in each one. These are the yellow straight neck squash. And I got two pots here. This one here, let's see, I've got one of these pots. This is a real official labeling system. This one has a crack in it, and this one doesn't. So the one without the crack is the one with the extra nitrogen. The one with the crack is normal. So we've got a base, and then we have our test. So anyway, stay back tuned. I'll launch this up on YouTube here in a little bit, and I'll link back to the other post about the squash blossoms and why you might not be getting squash from them. Uh, the basic theory, it's not really a theory, it's just what it is. Uh, you can have male flowers and female flowers on a plant. If it's only producing male flowers, you're not going to have any kind of pollination to get the actual fruit because you have to have the female flowers to produce the fruit. So this is what we're testing. And uh, stick back with us, subscribe, and I'll have a future video on what the results are and we'll see how they're growing and we'll just kind of compare it as it goes. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Uh, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.